Initiatives are here with Derek in studio now. <laughs> Kia ora and welcome again to Aurere. Well, the chances are that unless you were inside, you will have become pretty confused earlier this week with the news coverage of a group called Te Runanga Kohuiro. Is it a Māori parliament? Does it have a king? And how does it fit in with existing Māori institutions? In the studio today we have three people from Kohuiro. First, first of all we have Huatahi Nianiya from Ngāti Kahangunu and Toko wai, Tokoroa Waikato and Mahi Narangi Forbes both of whom are from Tainui. Tēnā koutou. Well, we'll be hearing from our guests shortly after this background report from Arana Taumata. They call him the Taiopuru. His name, Tairea Waikato Tauranga Whakaherehere. Waitawaha! The Tāngata, Tāngata, He's the seventh Taiopuru uh, since 1808. Not the Māori king as some have described him, but the Taiopuru. He is the Ariki, the head of Te Runanga Ko Huiarau, an institution established to unite the tribes of Aotearoa. That, according to their records, happened in 1816. A United Tribes Army was also established under a common defence policy. Tereho of Ngai Tuhoi was the first commander. After Tereho, the commander was the renowned chieftainess of Ngāti Tō and Ngāti Raukaua, Topiola. Other commanders followed, but the army was disbanded in the 1870s. However, it's understood 21 bodyguards are retained as protectors of the Taiopuru. Te Runanga Ko Huiarau, the Assembly of the United Tribes, met from 1816. Rangatira of this time identified the threat of European colonisation to Māori tribal authority and set up this assembly, this parliament of sorts, as a countermeasure. It continued to meet until 1947. Now it's been revived because its supporters say there's a need for it. The hui is about um, hapu who have pulled together, come together in unity. Um, the focus is on uh, the concerns for health, education, housing, welfare. <laughs> A number of Taonga were displayed to validate their claims as a sovereign authority. A copy of the Treaty of Waitangi made from pre-European dogskin was put on show. It apparently has the two sovereign seals of Queen Victoria and the Taiopuru of the time, Waikato Taidea. I will sign your treaty. It's claimed that after 75% of Rangatira signed the treaty, Waikato Taidea formally endorsed the pact by applying his seal to the document. The Taiopuru holds Te Awarangi Nui o Mokoia, the talking stick. According to Kohuiarau records, it was gifted to King William in 1832 for his recognition of the Māori nation as a sovereign state. In 1844, Queen Victoria gifted the Taonga back to the Taiopuru. An ancient toki, a stone adze called Kota Eripiri Kotama, is similar to the royal mace in other sovereign states and has installed each Taiopuru. It's claimed the toki was made for Reti, the brother of Kupe, some 500 years ago. <coughs> Tarunanga Kohuiarau say in their capacity as a sovereign authority, they have trade treaties with 60 odd countries worldwide and the ability to raise finance offshore to foster hapu development. Clearly they believe that the present Māori institutions and initiatives are not working. Every other avenue has been attempted and tried. It hasn't succeeded and it's really about um, 
just going back to, to what our tūpuna have set up, and the tools are still there. Um, I mean, personally, I can't answer for the hapū that is there, but it seems like a very general feeling and a shared feeling that this is what they wish to do. Togo Waikato was more direct about what's happening in his rohe of Tainui. Nā te mahi awangawanga, nā te mahi nana kia o Tainui Transport, ki tā mātou nei hapū a ngāti whāwhākia i pēnei ai mātou. Hei tanga hereti! Ko hui arau, the gathering of many. Could this be the indicator of how many disaffected Māori there are? Of how many Māori there are who want change? Close to a thousand people attended the ceremony to relaunch Kohuiarau. Although most appeared to endorse the aims and philosophies of Kohuiarau, others attended simply to find out more. But many questions are still unanswered. Questions about its social policies, where funding will be sourced from, and how the assembly organises itself. There are questions that should be answered in coming months as Kohuiaro attempts to turn its plans into action. I was fascinated when I was reading myself up on Kohuiaro and looking at the documents, looking even at some of the transcripts uh, provided from, uh, from discussions in the colonial parliament last century. Yet why is it, do you think, I mean, it's all written down there, there are things written down there, as you've pointed out. Why do you think it is that there has been so little heard about the organisation publicly for such a long time? Why, why do you think that? I, I think for me it is uh, personally because of the, the history that was taught to me at school. And, um, and I'm, I've only just come upon the waka through, I believe, my Tipuna's directions and others, of course, in, in actually learning uh, and hearing the the Nākororo Kohira, something I never ever, and many of the people that I talked to, even to my own hapu, uh, Ngāti Hinehika, never heard of it before. What brought you on it and, and, and what convinces you that this is a path that we should uh, embrace? I think what really convinces me because uh, of the whakapapa that uh, my uh, great-grandfather Hori Nienia was the, uh, one of the greatest uh, ariki, I mean, supporter of, of Kohuira and the signing of the treaty at Mahi. And, um, <clears throat> and I believe it's, it's through that, uh, through Whakapapa, uh, is why I'm very, very, very keen uh, to see that uh, now Mahi, Itukuihu and Atipuna would, would carry on. Why do you think it was a question asked in there? Why, why has it come to the fore right now? I believe because this is, this is the right time. I believe when, when we look at the, uh, what's happened over the, this past year, especially on O Tato Mate, O Tato Rangatiratanga, Ko Hokiatu Roto, Namanaki Sakotera Taha, and I really believe in my own heart that the time is right. One of the great confusions this last week, uh, Tokoro, has been the question of the, the Taio Pudu, uh, and, uh, and much of the early writing about it was calling it a king, and uh, you discussed that in the report we saw earlier. How would you describe it? You said earlier there wasn't any English equivalent for Taio Pudu, but how would you describe it if you had to, in a collection of words? Would it be the, would it be the first among equals if, in sort of thing in terms yeah. of Ariki? Kia ora, kia ora Derek. E kao, argo he kupu, argo he tagu tū tēraka, kāre kau ana he kupu i rote te reo pāke mō te taio pūru. Kāre hau e pirangi ki te, pirangi ana ki te, ki a hopu ngi e tau iwi tau e kupu raka, ka wāwā hia, ka whakamahia kinotia ni, nō reire mehe mehe, ka tau, ka mau tātou ki tēnā kupu, taio pūru, paitonu. Okay, one of the relationships that clearly people are going to want to ask and want to know about is what is the relationship between Taiopuru and clearly there's evidence in the records that this organization called Huero is one that had been uh, been active last century right. compared to what we have now the Kingi Tanga, which it seems to be one that has maintained a publicity thread through the century to still be understood now in the same way it was understood last century. What's mm. the relationship between the two organisations? Uh, the... Uh, 
me ata te tira anō ki ngā ti hanga i te kingi tanga ne. I hanga i te kingi tanga, hei, hei, hei whakatū te, te heke o ngā toto o te tangata, ki a whakamutu i ngia te hoko whenua. I whakatū ai mō ngā pauaru, mō ngā raua kore, mō rātou e kore whiwhi ana i, i ngā mahi nai ne. Koe nā te, te mahi tanga, te tū, whakatū tanga o kingi tanga. Ko te ko hui a rau, e ki te anā hau, um, i tū ai hei whakakotahi te iwi, a ngā hapū ke, hei whakakotahi ngā hapū, a hei, hei rōpū, a kao, he, he, he ope, mō ngā mea o ngā, o ngā tangata kāre tai ki te whakaputa ngā wanga wanga ki te kāwano o tēnei rangi. Engari, eh, ki a u rātou ki roto i te uh, kingi, kao heka te kingi tanga, he, he sovereignty, ne, ki ene he sovereignty uh, Māori. Tino ranga tira tanga? Uh, so, ai, tino ranga tira tanga pe, eka tu pe te raka. Engari, ki tō whakaaro kāre he, kāre he whawha i Wāinganui a kō hui rau me te kingi tanga? A ki hau nei, hau. He kingi, atu, kingi tanga anō te kingi tanga, me one nei, me one nei mahi, he, 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 ta, he, ko hui a rau, ko hui a rau, anō te ko hui a rau, me one nei tika. E hara tēnei te whakawehewehe i a tātou? E hake te whakawehewehe. Uh, ki a hau nei, e hake te whakawehewehe. Enga, ki te whakakaha i a tātou te ui māo. Ok, mai nā rei, many questions last week, or earlier this week, mm. with, with the, uh, if you like, the coming out of ko hui a rau. And people are still still slightly confused. I and mean, where I live, they're saying, hey, what's this organisation all about? And I know that uh, representatives have been around the country talking to Hapu, but where does Kohuiro go from here? Where is its support? This great, like a number of Māori movements, there's always talk of a large putea somewhere. And all of that uh, comes into, into vogue as well. Where do things go from here? <clears throat> Kia ora, Derek. Um, Kohuiro is really um, made up from many Hapu, uh, over the last three and a half years, we've been travelling around the motu, uh, sharing with marae-based hapu. Uh, the hui on Tuesday were representatives from those hapu that we have visited. Um, how it fits in today is because hapu, it's a time uh, where they feel the institutions that have been in place for them um, are not working for them. Uh, it has been a time to research back into the infrastructures that were in place, that our tūpuna had put in place, and that's really before Trust Board Act was put in place in 1955. Because of that, um, hapū are wishing to be self-determined, um, look after their own resources, develop, set up an economic arm, and that's really how um, the, the move of going back to kōhuiaro, or the ancient tools that were in place and still are there, um, mooted by hapū today. This isn't a crafty trick to get away from iwi and to say, all right, in fact, uh, uh, in fact, I saw you on Te Karere talking about Ngāti Whāwhākia being pretty upset about some of land that they could say was originally theirs has now been under the mantle of Tainui Whānui. Now, is, is this a, an attempt to revive hapū uh, as opposed to iwi and iwi structures? Um. E me kia tu e Derek, i te wā i haere mātou ki te tonu i o nei mātou nei uh, whenua, i haere ki ngā whare ture o tau iwi, ka mat i kona. Ka haere anō ki te whare nui o tau iwi, whare tu, ka hinga i kona. Ka noho a whawhākia, o mate mātou, and ka uru mai te te hitangata, ki te pōro ki a mātou katoa i te a whawhākia. Mai a tau atu takitanga, pūm. Ka tūtaki tātou, ka, ka tahi mātou, ka mōhio uh, eh, ko, ki a ko hui a rau. How do we move forward? Where do you see ko hui a moving forward from here? What happens next? I, I feel that it, it will move towards the, um, the reinstatement of the whataparamata and me ono tikanga, and especially talking about hapu, um, <coughs> papakainga, housing, education and social welfare. Um, 
<coughs> plus all its other fathers, as, as you know. Mm. But I think we have to start somewhere, and in the beginning, what I, I guess from here, would be getting all our hapus or, or iwi together. I think okay. this is... Uh, just to put people in context, and perhaps we can, we can come back to that question again. It, last century, um, it's been called a parliament because that's probably the nearest thing people can think of, but it was basically a runanga, wasn't it? Mm. That yeah, met yeah. annually. It would meet annually, an, a, an annual meeting of, of chiefs who would uh, talk about common problems, who would deal in the first instance with, uh, initially with um, representatives from the English Crown because there was no colonial government here. It was pre-1840. Then it met again in the 1860s where it did meet with the colonial government. Met annually, so it's not going to be the sort of parliament that meets, uh, you know, uh, several times a year or anything like that. It's really a forum to discuss these things. Is, is that what you envisage? That's how I see it at, uh, at the moment, yes. How, how soon do we move to that, do you think? At this point, um, Tuesday was the launching, and the launching was all about uh, reinstating Kohuero again. So although we have many um, skilled hapu members who are working on uh, the internal affairs side, health education, housing welfare, uh, the commercial arm, um, Māori banking. There's a, an enormous amount of mahi that has to be done. So over the next few months, that's what we're going to be doing, is structuring ourselves internally, making sure that um, we're well and truly ready to assist hapu. And you have resources to do this? Yes. Yes, we is do have resources. And the next question is, where are they coming from? <laughs> uh, well, yes. no, not necessarily, if you don't want to tell us. I mean, the point is that I guess those are questions that people are asking. Sorry. And there's that wonderful saying of ours that a bird needs feathers to fly. Aye. And, uh, and so it's a question of, do you have huru huru and, and, and is it, how will it be applied? Sure. Um, no, I'm prepared to answer that question as much as I can. We have um, several interested sponsorers um, who have heard and, and been sympathetic to our vision. Um, their whole interest, of course, is on a humanitarian uh, role. Uh, they, they see that uh, the Māori nation are a fit within a third world criteria. We live in a very affluent country beside a first world nation. And so the statistics, the New Zealand statistics, show that we're at the bottom of health, education, housing, welfare. Our people um, are mainly those that are in the prisons and unemployment is mainly Māori. So those who we have discussed and shared our vision with um, are assisting us. Now at this point they would prefer to remain anonymous and we would just like to respect that. At a later time perhaps um, that would be a time to, for them to come forward if they wish. A whole lot of people out there who are not familiar with Kohuero and are wondering uh, what it's about and, and, uh, and uh, how they might um, react with it. What's your, what's your response to that? Uh, I think um, one of the greatest things for me anyway has been the presentations of Kohuero and um, <clears throat> our Mariah Taranga was very fortunate to have Kohuero come just before the celebrations we had uh, here in Tamaki. And um, there are many people I, I know that are registering and they want to have presentations in their areas. I feel that that has to be an ongoing thing that we're going to, to uh, let our people know what Kohuiro is all about. And so in, in effect, you're turning your backs on places like the New Zealand Māori Council, the Congress and institutions like that, trust boards, other runanga? How do you fit in with them, do you think? Yeah, um, um, me tiro here in Muri, o ngau uh, ngau ro ro purak. Me me ka te tiro koe ka kite koe na te kawana ke te rak. Na te kawana ke ra te ifa katu. Ko te nei nanga hapu ke e ifa katu e haki te kawana. I don't think Congress was set up by the government. Ah, ah, ah. Engari ngapo ari ne. Engari ngapo ari. Ifa katu na na te kawana ke e na me i i tuai. Okay. I can understand that. You're saying that there are institutions set up by the government which you, you don't have a lot of respect and time for, okay. and so you're more prepared to, to set up something that comes up from Māori. Uh, you don't think that's splitting us up? Weakening our effort if we, if we have yet another organisation? I think it's evident that um, those organisations have not worked. Um, for once, Hapu is standing up and saying, we want to be accountable for ourselves. For a very long time, government has been asking Hapu to do this. Um, 
trust boards and any other institution have also been asking for this. So, you know, this is really mooted from hapu. This is what they wish to do. And I think it's wonderful that, that uh, today, 1997, hapu is saying, we're going to be accountable for ourselves. Thank you all very much for coming in here to be with us this morning. That's Odete for this week. We'll be back again next week for the second to last Odete and Marai for the year. We'll see you then, but before then.